What's good, superstars? Back with another Cryptoids video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Robin the villain. How's it going, Rob? Ah, pretty good. You... Man, I'm still sore from our interview yesterday with Poof and Steph. I mean, uh, they beat us up pretty good, but uh, we woke up today a little sore, but we're still here. Um, guys, if you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post about your favorite platform, whatever one that may be, um, we've been covering a bunch of different stuff. We are on a Cryptoys high right now, and uh, we said, why not continue it? Um, lots of information was dropped on our heads last week, and uh, we definitely want to keep talking about it because we think this is something that we want you guys all to know about. Um, also, you can become a superstar VIP, $2.99 a month, hit the join button underneath the video, get a star next to your name, level up through the badges. Uh, as the longer you hold it, the, the better your badge and you can show off in the comments. I mean, what's better than showing off that you have a better badge than somebody else? Um, also, first dibs on merch, star in the universe at the end of every single month, four days left. So if you haven't joined and you want to join, there's going to be a raffle for a star in the universe in four days, uh, four or five days. And then uh, first dibs on merch, uh, Rob's working on it. Rob is working on the merch. He is the merch guy. Um, you can also follow us, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Discord in the description. There are members from the Cryptoys team in our Discord that talk in the Cryptoys chat. So if you want to talk about anything, ask some questions maybe, uh, and you don't want to get swarmed out by all the people who are on the actual Cryptoys Discord, come in there and uh, <laughs> occasionally they'll come through and maybe they'll provide you some answers. Who knows? Or maybe we can just get a conversation going and talk about some of the projects that we love uh, over there. There's also a PO box. You can send us something. Become a superstar Hall of Famer. Uh, thank you guys so much, VIP <clears throat> members. You guys are incredible. And uh, you keep it coming no matter what we're talking about. Um, you guys keep giving us the support, and uh, we are very grateful for that. Yeah, we unboxed a lot. No pun intended. We unboxed a lot last week, and uh, we got a lot of information. We're doing our investigative work. We're interviewing uh, I mean, Will. Is the, we're going we're gonna to bring up uh, the, the interview from Will today. Uh, but if you listen closely... There's all sorts of alpha that is released by the team. And I don't even know if they're doing it on purpose, but if you can just read between the lines a little bit, we can maybe make some speculation, insightful guesses, educated guesses. We've done it many times before. We're going to try to do it again. So why don't we do some quick news and then we'll get into it. Yeah, and it's going to be short. It's going to be quick. Um, yesterday, we also had, like I said, uh, we had Poof and we had Stefan. Uh, and they were great. The community management team over there is is fantastic. Um, they're building such a fantastic community, uh, and we're we're glad to be a part of it. But uh, we had them on, and not only that, they did a giveaway where they gave away a holocron. And shout out to Omi Daily Burn who was able to secure that. I mean, one of ten people who entered the giveaway. It was a little bit sporadic. If you weren't in at the right time, you might have not learned how to enter the giveaway. But uh, it was what it was. He was in at the beginning. He heard the the rules, and we repeated them again near the end. Uh, but uh, he was lucky enough to walk away. I'm not sure if he opened it or what he got in there, but uh, just wanted to say congrats to him for landing that. And I'm glad he won an Omi Daily Burn. He's always involved uh, in the Discord all the time. He has his own Twitter account, his own YouTube channel, yeah. very involved in, in, in the community and is a good friend of ours. So I couldn't be happier that he won it. Yeah, exactly. He's helping out everybody all the time in the Discord. Um, pulled up the Cryptoys uh, Discord here for a second. Just wanted to show um, they, <clears throat> they still have like very, very high amounts of interest in the project. Even though they dropped a couple days ago, people are still tweeting at them that they're opening Holocrons and uh, they're having a great time doing it. A lot of the comments are people enjoying the process and uh, enjoying the hype. So uh, Jay Clemente, this is a, a big time Cryptoys fan. Um, he got two more grails. Uh, recently he got the nice. Darth Vader grill and now he got the Luke Skywalker grill. He is just like adding grills on grills on grills. And that's like the second most rare variant. So really cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. And again, congrats to him. He's been, he's been uh, adding us a lot. We're, we we yeah, see you. I love it. We see, we see you, Jay Colan. We see you. Um, then obviously they tweeted our, our, our interview um, biscuits. Uh, first time purchasing a digital collectible in a while, but this was fun. The theme song yeah. playing, the Star Wars graphics, and smooth, seamless transaction with my debit card. Great job, Cryptoids. Well, how can you rare. go wrong with the music? You can't go wrong with that you music. Can't. Come on, Classic unless you're trying to play it. Unless you're trying to play it on a YouTube video. And you, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> just make sure. Yeah, just don't play. It on, don't play it on YouTube. <laughs> but they'll uh, take. But, they'll take the video down. <clears throat> like I said, most of the comments are people enjoying the actual experience. So that's 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 proving that they've done a, a good job of uh, of uh, of putting together a great drop experience. Um, yeah, that's their strategy, anyways. Though they they did mention that that's what they're going for. They don't 
they're not right. They, they don't want that right now. They just want to focus on the experience right now and then build up from there. And I think by the experience, I mean, this is just the beginning. This is like scratching the surface of what we've learned in terms of what they want from the experience because mm-hmm. of the gamification aspect and, and more. So we'll get into some of that today, but there's so much more to come on the experience side. And obviously the fact that this one went so well, uh, it gets you, you know, wondering, can they continue to pull the, can the team there continue to pull off great experiences for all the new features to come? Yeah. Um, gamification, play to earn rewards and premium IT, IP cryptoids. I'm sold. The force is strong with this one. My best pulls today. So, I mean, uh, as long as we get that gamification, I think, uh, oh, here you go. Uh, we got, we've, we've got the Grogu in the building, uh, with the force, but, uh, nah, there's a couple things here where we're going to, we're hoping for on the roadmap. Um, and so far uh, they seem very genuine and, uh, and we're going to see what happens as it plays out here. But, uh, there's been some timelines given end of the year for a couple things. So 2023 should be a big one. Um, they also got some coverage from Paul Barron network, uh, a very decent size, uh, <laughs> YouTube channel. Uh, they they did some unboxings live on their channel, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, and it's just like it's just post after post after post. Like look, look at this, like everybody um, yeah. just showing their drops. It's it's fantastic. So it's just it's great vibes, like we we mentioned. Um, but like Rob said, there was a lot that came from our interviews with Will, Steph, and Poof. But uh, today's video is going to be around something that Will said in our interview. Rob, yeah, want to talk about it? We're gonna pull it up, uh, and this you know big reason why we we do these interviews is because we we come, especially with Will, we come prepared. We know he knows everything about the company, right? So we know that he's the guy that has all the answers and obviously there's limitations into what he can share. But sometimes if you listen closely, you can hear some very interesting things that maybe we can build upon. So this is one thing that we want to highlight today. Uh, It's related to AI collectibles. uh, And it's something that gets Joe and I extremely excited about digital collectibles in general going into the future. But this specifically really was getting us excited about cryptoids and that and how it fits in that in the entire space. Listen in. Good question. Uh, you know, we, we, we have this structure so that we can have flexibility and do creative things in the future. Um, there's a lot of proprietary tech that we've built for cryptoids as we've gotten to this journey that we could easily spin out and create sub products around. So like guardian controls are coming out that we have a patent pending on guardian controls <laughs> that allow for, uh, yeah, we're the first platforms that allow for uh, people under the age of 12 to use the platform. Um, and, and again, we got approval for the US patent office. So now it's patent pending with some really cool stuff that's coming. We have AI tools so you could c- uh, converse with your toys and, and interact with them in some unique ways. Uh, those are all proprietary pieces of tech that we, we might decide to, to share that tech with other platforms one day. Right now, it's all you know inclusive on the Cryptoys platform, and that's how it's, it's staying right now. But on-chain studios and that structure allows for those things to happen, and 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 we'll do what we think consumers want. And uh, you know, we want to build a long-term company that's here for generations. So we'll make moves that allows for the longevity of the platform and the company to uh, to really thrive. So I'll say. Okay, Will is a smooth talker. You gotta, you got, you gotta give him that. He he knows how to talk. Now, listen to what he said. He said proprietary. He talked about uh, the first patent approved for children under twelve. Uh, he talked about the proprietary AI, the guardian controls. So he's sort of implying because I we know uh, from from stories that and Joe's experienced it firsthand how powerful patents can be. Uh, if someone has a patent, they can make a real hard time for others that are trying to get in in that exact same kind of product and and sell that product. Uh, I think the technology is super early, and, and we don't know the specifics of the patent, but it is possible maybe that this patent is going to limit other companies from using this kind of technology. Now it's proprietary, so definitely using that exact product is gonna they're gonna own that. They're going to own the code to that. And if there's any kind of coding that's copied, maybe they can they, they can stop other companies from competing with them in that sense. I don't know if it necessarily prevents another company from completely creating their own version of it. But he said that they're the only ones right now approved for children under 12, thanks to the guardian controls, meaning you may only see the cryptoids 
with this technology anytime soon. Because once they get that patent, they start actually enforcing that patent. They start bringing that technology in. It's proprietary. I mean, they don't need to go sub it out from somebody else. They have it in-house. If anything, other, other companies are going to have to go to them and buy it from them and license it from them in order to use it on their collectibles unless they're going to try to build it themselves, which I don't know. It depends how it, how well it works. I, what, what's your take on this, Joe? Yeah, no, I think I think this is the game changer. Like we talked about experiences yesterday with Poof and Steph and about how how they're going to have like movies and and episodes and this stuff with their IP. Um, but I mean, this is going to be the place to go to talk to your toys. Uh, and not only that, your kids are going to be able to talk to their toys because they got the patent for the under 12 and you got the patent for the AI. And if you've watched any of the earlier stuff that Will and the team have talked about, Will has mentioned that. Um, they've brought the AI team in early and the whole focus has been for that AI to be cleaned up so that you don't get any, um, thing that a 12 year old shouldn't be hearing or uh, 12 and below should not be hearing from the, from the toy. So obviously very big undertaking. It's not like it's something you just go and you flip the switch. Maybe there's a couple companies that are able to do it a, a little bit quicker, like your Google, your Apple, like those, those guys there, but like any other small outfit or smaller outfit. Uh, that wants to go and do something like this. I mean, we've seen how long it takes for certain things to develop in this space. Um, I think this could be a multi-year thing. And it could be, if anybody, like if this is what pushes the space, anybody else trying to catch up once this is unleashed, it might take ages. It might, like, unless, unless, like I said, it's one of those big conglomerates. And to me, it would be like, maybe they would be ones trying to offer to buy in. Uh, but that can only be good things for crypto. But look at Disney. They're like the Disney castle. There's a moat. It, it, yeah. There's these these massive walls. It's like almost impossible to break into those Disney walls. But why cryptoys? We know Vivi had it. We know that there's relationships there with David Yu being in the business for a long time. But then out of nowhere, cryptoys just recently announced it, and they, they probably had it for some time. They they didn't they didn't tell us how long they knew for. But is it possible that this proprietary software was the selling point now to Disney? To say, look, we have the patents on these that are pending. We are the only ones right now that have the patent pending under twelve. That's your main, you know, your main audience. Don't get me wrong; a lot of Disney fans out there of all ages, but there's a huge Disney audience under twelve. We yeah. can offer this, and this is something that maybe, you know, not just Vivi, but other uh, other companies that made the pitch to Disney, they can offer. So is that why they've expanded specifically to cryptoids now because of this proprietary software that they have that they maybe showcased yeah. uh, and, and, and other, other companies just don't have it. And that makes you wonder, wow, these collectibles are the first in order to interact with that have these AI capabilities. I think that's going to bring in a lot of volume and these things are not easy to do. I have a buddy that works in the kind of that artificial intelligence machine learning industry i remember him telling me it takes months and months and months uh to train any ai in order to do what you needed to do i mean you see it uh, all the ones that we're using now chat gpt the most famous one that that took probably years and years and years but he's saying that even simple ais that you want to use for a specific function could sometimes take months to train in order to get it to what it means now, i don't know the specifics anybody watching if you want to expand you can let us know in the comments below and give us an education on exactly what that training entails uh, but who knows how long they've been training their AI to be kid friendly. And he talked about it twice. He did it in the last interview. He did it again. Now you could see it's on the forefront of his mind. So reading between the lines, obviously Will's super excited about this because he knows it's going to be maybe something that makes them stand out. And maybe I'm going to speculate. That's the reason why they were able to get Disney. No, I, I, I'm on the same page as you. I think that that's, that's exactly it. I think Disney and whoever, whatever other IP um, is, is looking at this project, they're going to, they're going to be blown away by the fact that like, it's not just a toy that just sits there. It's not just something that you hold in your phone. It's something that you can interact with. Um, and I'm sure that there will be other ones that come out that maybe they, they borrow or pay for the the technology because we, it's proprietary, like you mentioned. Um, but uh, the fact that it's going to be something that kids can talk to and kids can do it and it'll be in a kid friendly way. I think that is like a really, really big thing uh, because kids like just look at the Roblox platform, look at Minecraft, look at look at all of these types of games. And they've all gone crazy viral uh, YouTube videos, this and that. I mean, Cryptoys has something here that they could potentially blow out of the, <laughs> out of the water and make it into the next viral thing uh, if it's done properly and, and correctly and 
Um, and if they're able to engage the users and keep them on on board and and maybe not be have too much downtime. Now I know I know that we've seen we've seen other projects that have put out put out amazing detail on drops and we haven't heard from them for six months or uh, drop. There's other projects that put out drops every week or every day and um, and there's issues with that because there's certain things that people want to see. I mean I think you got to be you got to have a nice balance where. You, you deliver slowly, um, or and not slowly, but like on a, on a fairly regular basis, but you also have things for people in the community to talk about, to stay reminded about why they're here. And uh, I think, I think honestly, the kid, the kid targeting with the AI, especially AI now, you're, the buzzwords, chat GPT, all this, all this AI technology that's coming out, um, doing everything. Like people are making YouTube videos just with AI now and uh, they're getting millions of views. Uh, I think, I think this is like, this could be a crazy combination, especially if crypto comes back and NFTs actually get any kind of spotlight in the next five years, who knows where this can go. Yeah. I mean, in our day jobs, we're not lawyers. So, I mean, <laughs> if, if anyone is a lawyer and you know a little bit about patents, maybe you could pitch in, in the comments below and let us know your thoughts about like how, like how exactly would it work in the case of a, of if they were to secure the patents for AI, uh, for the guardian protections, uh, and then for even AI in general, they have this proprietary software. What are the limitations of that? Because like it just part of me feels like you just can't blanketly block anyone else from building it unless you're stealing that same code. Mm -hmm. uh, but what do you guys think? Like, do you think that with this patent, they can they are going to be able to dominate the space? Are you only going to be able to interact with AI collectibles on cryptoys? Is this is this what we're what we're seeing from what Will said? Is is he basically showing in a way his cards like, hey, listen, you better get on this crypto train because we're not just the new shiny project. We actually may be the only place where you can use this kind of technology. And at, at a minimum, if it is proprietary, then they have an opportunity just to make it really great. And then other projects will say instead of building our own. They already have it. Let's just sub it out and use their technology. And then crypto is obviously has their own revenue streamer in this case, which is a on chain, right? Cause that was, yeah. that was the question. The question was how can you use on chain to maybe branch out and create realism uh, in collectible? He's like, Oh, we can use on chain for lots of things such as subbing out AI technology. That's propriety right now, only within cryptos. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that, that's why it was pretty, they guys got to listen to these interviews because if you're researching a project, sometimes the best place to go this is our analysis of it. This is just speculation, but sometimes that speculation can only be done once you listen to those who are actually involved, invested in the project. Obviously, you can't go any better than the CEO of the company. Yeah, so. let us know what you guys heard from that interview. Was there any other tidbits that you guys came up with um, from there? Did you hear the same thing that we heard in that clip? Because to me, that's like uh, that. You saw my face when I reacted to him saying it. So I'm I'm very very excited, and I hope that they're able to deliver on all of these uh, dreams. And and uh, I think that if they do, it's going to be a fun fun time for everybody. Yeah, and if you want to continue to have a fun fun time right now, don't forget. <laughs> Become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fan, hit the bell notification for every single video, every single day. We do not miss. We do not miss and do not say we miss because we do not miss. YouTube, if they want to hose us, we still didn't miss because we did a video that day. So don't even try. All right. V Superstar VIP, two ninety a month, star besides your name, ask our spreadsheets, giveaways, you name it, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate it. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.